And if you are over here, you haven't got a hope in hell of being able to analyze that data. And you guys at the back aren't interested in doing it. So you need a deliberator. Let them evaluate plans, make the plans doable. Let them lead the planning stage. In GSK, we've realized some of the projects that are being managed by very deep thinking deliberators that have come from a scientific, pharmaceutical scientific background. They love data. They are now trying to run project teams with supply chain directors who are extremists when it comes to knowers, being knowers. And these, these they're, they're trying to say, well, I think we should do this. And these guys say, oh, I told you yesterday what we're doing. Just do it. But the data doesn't stack up. I don't care. Just deliver it. So a lot of confrontation comes up when you meet people. And you've got to work out how you're going to handle them. So as you said, give them a little bit of information. Let them prioritize. That sort of like ties to neutralize it. So the concept, though, expand the, the agenda. Don't just talk about one thing. Go to a concept and say, yeah, we like your concept. We're going to deliver that tomorrow. Then what? What do you want us to do after that? Where's, what's the next? And that tends to make them step back and think, have they really done it? Are they, uh, hang on, why do they keep coming? Me? They want the next step in the plan. Because I'm not sure we're actually getting that. It makes that tends to slow them down and make them become a bit more team-oriented. Prepare strategies. Deliberators, if you want to handle a, a concept, uh, give them loads of theory. Go to them and say, look, here's a theory about this. Here's the data to support it. This theory, there's the data. This theory, which one do you want? Which one fits this overall? It tends to slow them down and make them think a bit more. So how do you communicate? If you want to communicate with these guys over here, take time pressure. The worst thing that can happen to you guys over here is I want the answer and I want it by 4 o'clock because you're not going to get it. Unless you say by 4 o'clock, you decide which day. Okay. Offer them more information. If they're struggling with the theory, if they're con con struggling with the concept, they're struggling to come to terms with it, give them some more information. Allow them time to go off and collect. Have lots of small meetings with deliberators. Don't try to ram it all in one meeting because it will just go on and on and on. Just small pieces of information at a time, small chunks. Knowers, challenge them. The one thing a knower can't stand is being challenged. Stand up to them. They're, they're potentially, they are, sorry. <laughs> I'm going to get kicked by the only knower in the room. They are potentially, these, guys, these people are what I call the playground bullies. One thing bullies can't stand, standing up to them. Try it, it works. Bullies hate it. Propose other solutions to them. Say, well, I like your idea, but what about this? And here's the data to support it. And what about that one then? You can almost neutralize them by get them to focus. Focus, focus, focus. This is the problem. These are the issues. Here's the data. This is where we want to go. You coming to with us or you're not coming with us. And if you're not coming with us, why? And if you want us to go a different direction, I'll tell you what, you sign it off. Because it'll be your name on it, not ours. We've done the deliberation. We've sat down, we've worked out the data that supports this. We believe you're wrong. Yes, we'll go with your decision. However, you sign it. Because when it all goes wrong at the end of the day and it all goes pear-shaped, it's your name, not ours. That tends to make them sit back a bit. How do you communicate with these guys at the back here? Lots of little presentations because they can't handle the data. They can't handle it. For these guys at the back there, anything more than one side of A4 with four bullet points on it, that's too much. They can't cope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Use examples, tendencies. Let them see the picture within the puzzle. These guys are great at talking big picture. They can show you the, the world. They can't tell you at all how to get it. These were the generals in World War I. We need to take that hill. How do we do that, sir? No idea, that's your problem. <laughs> Conciliators. <laughs> Offer these people, I'm one of these guys at the back here. Use examples of success stories. Let people build on, their, on success. 
We've had some success with G in GSK with using this technique in one or two small po pockets of the, or the organization. I've had some success using this in previous lives. <coughs> As I say, I, di I discovered this in 1992. The book is 7.99 on, uh, you can download it on Kindle tonight if you like and read the book. It's fascinating reading, it's about 250 pages. It should take you about an hour to read. It's full of examples and few, full of better things than I can tell you. I've just taken a synopsis out of some of the slides. Questions? That's, uh, as I say, I'm not a psychologist. I'm just someone that helps companies transform s supply chains through helping them understand it's people that will have to be changed, not the easy bit. I had it great last night at the round table on our round table on change. When someone says, you have to, you, you speak to the brain, but you have to sell to the heart. So change without purpose is a waste of time. So next time you're on a change exercise, remember it's got to have purpose. It's about people, and people are all different. It's probably a bit wrong now and over-academic to say that people exist in just four groups. There's probably combinations, and there will probably be circumstances where you guys are partly over here or partly over there, but for effect, thank you. I think I'm, I'm done. I have a short question. Those who move, what was it that made you recognize the move? Yes. Because I'm actually, I'm, I'm definitely, this is where I picture myself as having been moved, but elements of that, and if I stayed over there for a while. Yeah. Remember what I was talking I'm about? I'm actually a project manager. Right in the. collaborative in that. Yeah. So, uh, in, remember what I said at the beginning personality is fixed by the time you're five or eight. Um, your brain style is fixed again through genetics. It's the way your body has been wired. You can't help that. But put those people in different situations and they will behave differently. So, But what's necessary is to understand the person's natural tendency. It's, a, it's almost a bit like, I'm sure some of you have heard of Myers-Briggs. Um, I remember doing a Myers-Briggs assessment when I was a junior manager and we had an operations director and he had his Myers-Briggs portfolio and prior to becoming ops director, he was the technical and innovation director for which he was brilliant. He got moved into operations and he was a complete no hope, <coughs> abject failure. And we had these guys come in, they did Myers-Briggs and they described all the different characteristics that you would normally associate with people. And his characteristic in his box, where he was, and I can't remember which, the combination of four. And it went onto the next screen, it said, ideal occupation, technical innovation expert. And over here was the one that said operations and supply chain, which is, so, okay, I was in that box. And he said, no, 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 he says, I'm definitely in that box. And everyone's going, Neville, that's you. And he got the hump and he walked out the room, he went home, told his wife, and his wife said, yeah, that's you. <laughs> no, I want to be in, and they came back the next day and the, this, the guy was there doing the psychoanalysis and said, he said to him, how do I become that person? Well, you can't any more than you can change your brain style. You can learn habits, but you can't change your natural way, of, or your natural way that you process data and the natural way you process information. Am I getting told to shut up? Or any other questions? <laughs> so, so I moved to the one that I thought I should be in. Yeah. And I think I should be over there. You think you should be down here? So I think he should be over there because he's a funny and he's funny. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking. <laughs> 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 so he's the funny. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So is he a knower or a know all? 
<laughs> okay. Thank you very much, Stephen. Okay, thank you. Brilliant presentation. Thank you. Thank you.